Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Ken Burns effect. Now Ken Burns effect, it's a type of zooming and panning. Uh, it's used in video production and it's used on still images, whether it be pictures or images of something where, where you're trying to give it a, a view of a video, but basically it's still it's a still picture. Now this is a technique that uh, kind of predates the person named Ken Burns. He's a documentary filmmaker, but for some reason he's been given this name for this particular type of effect. And it's actually a pretty cool effect if you want to add some liveliness to a still image. It actually gives it a little bit of uh, life. So let me show you some examples of what a Ken Burns effect may look like in PowerPoint. So from this example, we have this lighthouse. We're kind of zooming into it and kind of panning over to the left. And that's kind of like the Ken Burns effect for a still image here. Now another example is when we wanted to uh, zoom in, or zoom out actually. We want to zoom out and we kind of zoom out of the, the close image of this flower and kind of zoom out and see we see the other flowers here. And another example, maybe you have a group of people and we are zooming into this uh, vector image of people and it goes from left to right. Uh, of showing these people. So I'll show you how to create uh, these type of Ken Burns effects for these particular images and you can kind of apply them in your own particular PowerPoint. Let me go ahead and escape out of this PowerPoint show. So let's go with the first example, how we uh, zoom in. So let me go ahead and insert an image. I'll go ahead and insert uh, this lighthouse image. Go to insert. I'll go ahead and click on picture. And we have some pictures here. Let me go ahead and find the pictures here. Now this is the lighthouse. Go ahead and double click that. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of move it and fit it into the slide here. So this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and fit it in there. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into the animations tab and we want to zoom into this picture. So go ahead and click on the drop down. And we're going to use it under the emphasis section. We're going to go to grow and shrink. So basically it's going to grow, it's going to grow and we can have it grow by default it's going to grow larger but we can have it grow huge where it really zooms into it but that's a little bit too much so I'm going to go ahead and select larger and then once it zooms in there I want to create another animation effect uh, not override this one because if I click uh, another animation effect it's just going to override it so I'm going to have to put one step by step to do that I want to bring up the animation pane so the animation pane is right here it's just another window to help you look at the different animations that are occurring on your particular slide so I want to do, let me go ahead and make this a uh, start on with previous. And basically when I bring it up in slideshow, it's going to occur automatically. So what I want to do is the next animation I want to do is I want to have it kind of pan down, pan up to this particular portion of the picture. So what I do is I don't want to go ahead and click here to add the animation because that's basically going to clobber or overwrite this particular animation where it zooms in. What I want to do is add an animation. So if I click on that, I want to add a motion animation. So I'm going to go ahead and go under the motion path. I'll go ahead and select line. And what it's going to do is by default it's going to have the path go down. So I don't want that to happen. I basically want to start here at the center where it's going to zoom in and I want to have it I want to have this particular image move down so we can see that this particular portion of the image is going to move closer to the center. So I'm going to take this uh, the green is where it starts, the red is where it ends. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and kind of move it over here to down here. Let me go ahead and play that. So let's see if we have that effect on that. It's going to move here and then it's going to move over there. So the way it's, this is happening right now is that it's basing on the click. The second animation is going to occur after you click. So I don't want to do that. I want to have it kind of at the same time. So I'm going to have it with, pre with previous. And let me see how this plays out. We'll go ahead and play it and we see that now it's kind of moving in there. So that really doesn't look too good. So let me go ahead and move this a little bit. Let me click on the motion path animation. It turns into a two-sided arrow here. Let me go ahead and move it over here a little bit. And maybe what I'll do is also make the delay a little bit. Increase the delay to maybe uh, half a second. So it occurs about half a second after this particular animation is occurring, the grow shrink. So let me go ahead and click play and see what happens here. Okay, that's actually not bad. So if I go ahead and click on the slideshow and we're just going to zoom in and it's going to pan over to the left. You can see that it's it's not perfect, but it's kind of your poor man's video for a still image here. So that particular portion is okay in this particular aspect. You have to kind of play with it a little bit to see it fits right so it doesn't the image doesn't kind of go off the slide and you see the whites of the image of the slide. So that's for this particular uh, example. Let's try the other example where we have these flowers. Let me go ahead and click on the next slide here. I'm going to insert another picture. 
and I'm going to insert the picture of the flowers. Let me go ahead and double click that to insert it and go ahead now and increase the size of the image so it kind of takes over this particular slide. And so for this particular image, what we want to do is first we want to have a focus. We want to focus in on that particular portion of the image, this part. And what we want to do next is we want to kind of zoom out. So we want to have an instant instant zoom into this picture. And what we're going to do is go under animations and we're also going to have it where it's going to grow, right? So we want to have it right at that point. And we want to probably make that one a little bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and click on the animation pane here. And instead of starting, you can actually right click too. You right click and we have it uh, start with previous instead of going up here all the time. So I can right click that to do that. So we can go into the effects options. Let me see, by default, it's going to make it large. Let's see how it looks huge. So that's actually pretty big. Man, that might be okay. So we can have it go really big there. And at the same time, we want to kind of pan down so it kind of moves down to the center. This part moves down to the center because we're, we're just seeing this part. So I want to add the animation where it kind of goes into this particular portion of the image after it gets zoomed. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is selected and go ahead and add an animation, not go to here and add an animation of here because that's going to override it. So I'll go under here scroll down where it says motion path and select the line. So right now it's going to go like that. And so I'm also going to uh, have this start with previous. Let me go ahead and play that a little bit. So right now you see that it's kind of like going into the picture and it's sc scrolling down or it's moving down. Let me see if I can make this one a little bit bigger. Let me go into effect options. Let me go to huge. I'll go back to huge here. Go ahead and click, click play. All right. so probably want to move this down a little bit further so it's going to move this right down to the bottom let me see if I can move this a little bit further and click play and see what happens now so in my initial shot what I want to do is I want to have it kind of already zoomed into the flower so what I can do is I can actually add another animation to have it kind of uh, give the impression that we got into the zoom quickly uh, first off I want to have this uh, go really quick so I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the duration and do the same thing for this one uh, decrease the duration so it looks like immediately once I get into the slide it's already zoomed in I'm gonna go back to this picture this is the first one this is on top and I'll probably want to add an animation and maybe I want to have it kind of uh, fade in uh, let's see let's see how that goes and I want to move this one first so I'll go ahead and click on the reorder and kind of move it up and I'll have that also right click here and go start with previous let me go ahead and play that and see how that looks right now so it kind of fades in and you already see that it's very close up. And so what I want to do is have it zoom out now. Let me go ahead and press escape to get out of that slideshow. And so the second thing I want to do now is I want to add, go to the last one here, add an animation and then have it where it uh, grows and shrinks. But, bit, but this time it's going to shrink. So by default it grows. So what I want to do is I want to have it shrink. So let me go ahead and right click here and go start with previous and on the animation itself. I can actually change the effect here. You can also there's many many areas where you can change it. You can change it here, or you can click the drop down here and go to effect options and go under the size and make it smaller. So that's some things that you can check out. So let me go ahead and click it smaller. Click OK. So right now this is going to shrink, but I want to have this occur after these set of animations occur. So I'm going to go and right click it and go start after previous. So now it's going to start after this. So let's go ahead and play it again. So right now it's zoomed out or zoomed in now it's going to zoom back out so let's add another animation let's go ahead and add another motion pass animation let me go ahead and click on this one and basically what I want to do is I'm going to move this up too so right now so after this part where it kind of uh, zooms down maybe I want to have it zoom back up and so let me go ahead and change it. right click and go ahead and start uh, start after start after previous so I want to have it at the same time maybe this one I want to have this one start uh, with previous so these two are going to start after these set of animations occur. So with this one, I'm going to change the direction. So instead of having it go down, I'm going to have it go up. So I'll go under Effect Options and go into Reverse Path. So basically, uh, it's reversing this path right now. So if I click on this, this is going down, and click on this, this one's going up. But I want to have them make sure that they're uh, symmetrical, they're the same. So let me go ahead and click on this. This is clicked, so I'll go ahead and move that arrow. Let me go ahead and see if I can click on here right there and I'm going to move it down here so they're going to match right so let's go ahead and see how this plays out again go ahead and see that it plays out so that's a little bit too big still and I want to have this one let's see occur after that and maybe I wanted to change this maybe a little bit smaller so I 
click on the drop down, go to effect options, and maybe make this tiny and go ahead and click OK. And let's see, it makes it tiny here, but let's go ahead and play it right now. We'll go into slideshow view. So right now, we're zoomed in, it moves, and then it goes up back into a regular size. So that's actually probably the the Ken Burns effect that we want. So it's kind of zoomed out, it kind of zooms in, it kind of moves into that particular portion of the slide. Let me go ahead and escape out of that. So that's part of that Ken Burns effect. You can see that even though this is not a real uh, video type of editing type of software, PowerPoint doesn't really do that, it does do somewhat of a semi-Ken Burns effect. You can you can have to modify and play with it a little bit. So let's try the, the last example here. We have a bunch of people there. So if I go ahead and insert, and let me go ahead and insert some clip art, and I'll go ahead and search for people, click go, and then I would just select the people one that I had last time. I'm going to click on this one and it has these people here. Let me go ahead and cl close this clip art pane and let me go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. Slide this over here and then slide this over here. And what we can do here, let me go ahead and kind of move this one over here too. What we can do here is we can go ahead and create that zoom. So it's going to zoom into. Uh, let's actually let's move this one over here where it kind of zooms into this guy and it kind of moves over. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the animations here and go ahead and do the grow shrink again. So it's going to grow into that. And then what I want to do after that is I want to kind of move it over to where it sees this fifth, fifth person here. Let me go ahead and click on that right click and go and start with previous so it kind of starts automatically when you go into slideshow view. So remember I don't want to add it here. This will just overwrite the existing animation. What I want to do is I want to click Add Animation and I want to go, go use the motion path again. So I'm going to have the line here and by default it's going to go uh, from top to down. What I want to do is I want to go from uh, right. So I want to, oops, no, I want to go from the left. So I want to go to the left. So I'll go ahead and start on the right and then go to the left. So let me go ahead and have this uh, go with previous and maybe delay this a little bit. You can actually, instead of going up here and, and adjusting these with the the arrows here, you can actually go ahead and move it too. So if I just click on that, I can actually move it here. Let me, maybe I want to have it start about 0.5 seconds afterwards. So let's see how this plays. And so it zooms in and then it kind of pans over. So that might be a little bit too uh, shaky. So I'm going to have maybe have this occur right after it zooms in. So I'll go ahead and click after previous, click play. It zooms in and then it scrolls over to the right. So that might be okay. Maybe I didn't want to get rid of this person too much. Maybe I want to start maybe over here and then maybe move this one a little bit back here. Go ahead and click play. We're going to zoom in and then we're going to go across and it doesn't and maybe maybe move him a little bit. So maybe I'm going to move this a little bit more. Select that. And you can see it turns into a two-sided arrow. Move this back a little bit and click play. And let's see we zoomed in. Now we're going to go and pan over to the left. So there's our effect there. So you'll notice that the Ken Burns effect in PowerPoint, it does take a little while to adjust things around. But if you want to add some spice into your presentation, give it kind of a film effect for your still images, the Ken Burns effect is one way to go. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.